Hello everyone. Oh wait, uh, I I forgot something. Wait a minute. Options, music and sounds. Boom. Off. Completely off. Anyway, everyone. Uh, so today I am doing a tier uh, tutorial on how to make, use, and power and fuel the tier three rocket from Galactic Craft. You're going to need immersive engineering, tech guns, extra utilities to. Build craft I'm not going to be using in this tutorial, although I will recommend the combination of mods I am using. If you are curious about the mods I am using, it is the same mods for every tutorial I do. If you're curious about all the mods I'm using, I will make a video uh, showing the mods. But anyway, today I will show you how to make, use, and power and fuel the tier 3 rocket from Galacticraft. So, you're going to want to make the survival generator, which is five cobblestone, one iron ingot, two redstone, one furnace. Then you're going to want to make some aluminum wires, which are three aluminum ingots, six wool. And then you're going to want to make the circuit fabricator with two aluminum wires, one redstone torch, two stone buttons, and one lever and a furnace to make the circuit fabricator. So... What we are going to do is we're going to take all this stuff here. Oh, I had like a stack of this. No. I had a stack of that and a stack of that. Where are all the diamonds? I think, ah, here they are. I left them in here. So, we're going to be placing a redstone torch here to show you all how to make the basic wafer. We just need to wait for that to finish. But in the meantime, I will show you how to make... Oh, wait, I don't think I need to show you to make compressed tin, but I'll do it. Anyway, I'll show everyone how to make everything here. So dash is just an ore that you mine. That's dash, in case you're curious. It is a real mineable ore. And in order to get compressed dash, we're going to do this here. We're going to pull out the compressed tin. We're going to check up on here. We got the basic wafers. We're going to place down the redstone repeaters, and that'll get us the advanced wafers. So we're going to put all this stuff in here, back in here. And now we're going to pull out our compressed dash. Now we are also going to pull, ooh, our advanced wafers aren't done yet. So I'm going to show you how to make some bronze here with tin and copper. As you can see, here we go, and now we're taking them out. There we go. And now that is how we make bronze. How we make steel, takes it takes a bit longer to make steel. And now here we go. And now it is making steel. As you can see, the advanced wafer has now been made. That is all. Now you know how to make the advanced wafer and the basic wafer. The compressor, I will show you to make some compressed bronze, some compressed aluminum. Meteoric iron is just the normal, oh wait a minute, oh no. <laughs> anyway, meteoric iron just comes from meteors, they crash la randomly in your world. This isn't a natural meteor, but they do crash in your world, and if you and they also spawn on the moon and other planets. This isn't the only planet they're on. It's just a lot rarer to find them here in the overworld. All right, so now we're gonna make some compressed aluminum. The next thing we're gonna need to make is some compressed steel. All right, and there we go. Okay, now time for some compressed steel. I may as well duplicate it. Now that you know how to make it, it doesn't matter how much I have or use. So, now it'll go there. Now we have some compressed uh, steel. There we go. And now we need to make some compressed bronze. There we go. So I'll show you how to make that later, but I just want to show you how to make everything here first because I want to make sure this part here is done. Alright, so now you can make the compressed bronze. Now what you want to do is you want to do that. Uh, wait, no, 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 the order matters. The order matters a lot. All right, bronze here at the end, aluminum in the center, and steel on the side. There we go. And now, from here, we will get our first heavy-duty plate. All right, and there we go. So the meteoric iron just comes from mining out meteors. So now what you want to do is you want to take that, you want to plop down the meteoric iron right there and now it'll compress into a meteoric iron plate and boom now we're gonna take that meteoric plate and we're gonna place it with a heavy duty plate Com or no compressed meteoric iron with a heavy duty plate 
and that and those two will combine to form the tier two heavy duty plates. Then we're gonna plop them in here and oh, uh, tier three, tier three rocket. It's right here, tier three heavy duty plate. Oh, compressed dash. I need to compress dash first. Here's the dash. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, I'll just compress the dash here. Just requires one. All right, there we go. Put the dash in. Now, wait for it all to compress. I better check how long I've been recording for. It's been five minutes. Oh, oh my goodness, I better speed this up. All right, here we go. And now we're going to toss these two in together anyway next thing you're gonna want to make is the compressor which requires six aluminum one advan one basic wafer one copper ingot and one anvil then you're gonna want to make a raw a rocket launch pad which is uh, six compressed uh, t iron which is just a normal way of compressing things then you need three iron blocks uh, for the compression of iron it's just two iron ingots on top of each other and we're going to want to make the blast furnace, as we saw there. We're going to want to get four uh, iron plates, two stone bricks, one iron block, one furnace, and one redstone. In order to make the iron plates, we're going to go over here. We need two sticks, two iron ingots, one string, one engineer's, and that'll get us an engineer's hammer. Then we need the engine... Oh, no, 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 no. Anyway, and then we're going to need the engineer's hammer next to the iron ingot to get the iron plate to make that. Now we have the compressor made. You need the basic wafer first. All right. So now I've covered all these. You need five copper ingots to make the copper canister. Then you need two copper canisters, two stone blocks, two compressed steel, one furnace to make the fuel loader. I mean the fuel refinery. Then you're going to need five tin to make the tin canister. Then you're going to need five compressed copper next to... Uh, two compressed tin, one basic wafer, and one tin canister to make the fuel loader. And your next up, you're going. What you're going to want to make is the uh, empty canister. It'll require six compressed tin, one compressed steel, and one glass and one tin canister. I believe that is compressed tin. Yes, it is. I believe this is also compressed tin. Yeah, compressed tin. Tin is very useful. All right. Now, next up, what you're going to want to make is the a uh, tier one booster. Now you're gonna need four, four tier two heavy duty plates, and two tier one heavy duty plates, an oxygen vent, and a filled canister, and one uh, yellow wool. Now, in order to get a full canister, you're going to oh right, um, here it is, empty canister. All right, and I also need a bucket, bucket, uh, oil bucket here it is oil so what you want to do to the refinery is you just want to plop that in here like that and then it'll take that and now it'll start refining it you have to hit the start refining button but anyway as you can see it'll just fill up this canister here with the bucket of oil you can find anywhere in your world all right so now that we've covered how to make that let's cover how to make the oxygen vent which is three compressed tin one compressed steel and that gets you the oxygen vent. Now we're gonna go over here. It'll take two tier three compressed uh, heavy, no, it'll take two tier three heavy duty plates and four tier two heavy duty plates to make the rocket fin. It'll require four tier three heavy duty plates, one stone button, one copper canister, one oxygen vent, one flint and steel to make the uh, heavy duty engine here. So as you can see, I used the survival generator setup and the aluminum wires here to power both the fuel refinery and the fuel loader. Anyway, so now we're going to make the NASA workbench, which requires four compressed steel, two compressed levers, one base, one advanced wafer, and one redstone torch and one crafting table to make the NASA workbench. Next, you're going to need three tier three heavy duty plate. Uh, and a redstone torch and that'll get you the heavy the heavy nose cone as you can see here so I will knock this one out of here I will show you how to make it yourself all right so what you need is a stack of chests a bunch of tier 3 heavy duty plates heavy nose cone heavy rocket fins and all that and boom and tier 3 here's tier 3 so in order to make it, you will need that, that, 
toss in the engine and you will oh right how did I forget the tier 1 boosters I don't know why tier 1 boosters work on a tier 3 thing but they just do oh no that's a tier 1 rocket tier 3 rocket here we go boom boom and now we place the chests up here to give it some storage because you're probably going to want to store stuff in here all right and there we go plop down the nose cone the engine and the rocket fins and there you go tier 3 rocket storage space 56 plop it down here and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... I'm going to move that out of there anyway. Now you're going to plop down the fuel canister, which I just showed you how to refine over here. By putting a bucket of oil in, a canister on the other side, powering it up with all these survival generators. But now, it should load all that... Uh, start loading. It, fuel tank can be filled with fuel canisters. Uh... I should go into slash game mode. Oh, great, it's all in caps. Why is it always in caps? Slash game mode. S, enter. And then I hit E. Should be around here somewhere. I. No. Anyway, now I can just start launching. There we go. Anyway, everyone, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hope you enjoyed.